Okay, so hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Center for uh, Neuropathy and Chronic Pain, and I'm here with Shay, and Shay comes to us with a pretty significant droplet, and if you look down here, if you pan down to her feet, you'll see that just when she's sitting relaxed, she's able to move her left one, but not move her right one up very much, and especially can't move it to the side. There's about five muscles that drop foot effects. Uh, so we're going to talk about ultrasound though. That's the topic. We're going to talk about how ultrasound, and this is an ultrasound machine, how we can actually look at these nerves and see how the pressure on these nerves creates a change in the shape of the nerve. And that's really what we found. She has a really excellent example of this when we did her ultrasound. So, uh, so she's had this drop foot for a while, uh, makes it very unstable to walk. And one of the key nerve areas that affects drop foot is called the common perineal nerve. The common perineal nerve is a nerve tunnel right up here on the outside of the leg, right below the knee joint. And pretty much right after the nerves go through the tunnel, they send a lot of little branches to the muscles in the upper leg that help to uh, stimulate, make the muscles contract and pull the toes up, the foot up yeah, ooh, and, like and sideways. <laughs> and so, uh, so that's what we're doing is opening that tunnel uh, and this is a pretty serious case of drop foot so is it going to make her 100% better? Probably not but even if it's 50%, 20%, you know 40% people are just amazed and very happy with that. It might make the difference between them you know having to use a cane or a walker or whatever. So, uh, so anyway that's the point I want to make but the more important thing is I want you to come over here and look at this because we're going to zoom in a little bit, but this is called the common perineal nerve. Uh, and this is actually looking at it along the length of the nerve. Uh, so this is the nerve as you, as I'm pointing to it, going down, this would be going down towards the foot. And we've already done some measurements uh, of it. Uh, again, the nerve going in that direction would be going up towards her hip and going down in this direction would be going down towards the foot. And I call this the napkin ring effect, or maybe the hourglass effect. So what you can see here, I've already measured this area. The tape's over here to kind of hide up her full name. <laughs> but uh, the measurement here, the dimension, the diameter of the nerve is 3.9. And back here, I think it was, like I can't remember, it's not on here, but I think it was around 2.7 or 2.9 back in this area. So you can actually see it's very thin and then you come out here, it bulges, it's thicker. And you can see the same phenomenon here. The tightest part of this area is where this nerve is diving into a muscle compartment that we open up when we do surgery. And as a surgeon, we can see that. We're in there and we do a lot of these. You can see where the nerve is really being pinched. It's pinched over a long area, but there's one spot, folks, where it's really compressed, and this is what that's showing. And it's really nice because people can see this, they can appreciate it, and it's a way that they can physically appreciate how much pressure is on that nerve. So when we go in, get rid of the pressure, the nerve's gonna work better. Hopefully it's gonna send more signals down to those muscles and let them yeah. start firing and get some motion going for her. So, uh, and actually, if you're wondering if that dimple or dent goes away, yes, it does. If you just sat there in surgery for a while and watch, that nerve will actually reshape as you're watching. It doesn't take that long. You'll see how uh, having that pressure release it's just like a compressed garden hose or something. If you get rid of the pressure, it's going to be uniform shape all the way along nice. the length of it. And it happens very quickly. So anyway, if you like this content, please let us know. Uh, give us a like and please hit on that subscribe button. Uh, I'm new to asking you to do that, but I'm trying to get more people as subscribers on here because this is good stuff. A lot of people don't know all the things that we can do for drop foot or maybe restless legs or neuropathy. And, uh, Anyway, I appreciate you know taking the time. You taking the time to appreciate Shay taking the time today to to help other people out and help educate people about uh, the potential of what we can do to you know give give other people more hope for some of these conditions that they're suffering with. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you.